Mm-hmm. Go. Mm-hmm. How much was it? Seven. Did it go all the way up to seven? No, it was like. 3.5. Why are you scaring me? I told my daughter it can't go above seven, so she just told me it's seven. Let me see. Can you fast forward it to that? Okay, so did it go up to 3.7? What did it go up to? Hold on, we're gonna pause and I'll be right back. I need to look at my video to see what it was. That was week seven turned 23. My daughter was playing a little joke on me there because she forgot we were recording a video. The reason why I am measuring my turns is because starting on turn 21, the turns started feeling like they had tension that wasn't there before. And for Dr. Adams, slow mass speed protocol, we need to stay between 500 and 700 centinewtons. If I go over 700 centinewtons, then I'm gonna do something called polycyclic turning. Now I was about 400 top centinewtons. It looks like I was 3.9 newtons up to four. Um, so four newtons <laughs> equals 400 centinewtons. It's a lot of math for my brain right now on a Saturday. In any case, that's good news for me because I can continue to turning on the current schedule I am on, which is one turn every other day, and each turn is equal to about a twelfth of a millimeter for me. What I'll do if I get to 700 centinewtons or if it starts getting painful is I'll do polycyclic turning. I'll use my gauge to back off all the force to zero, wait 30 minutes, and then bring it back on till I reach 500 to 700 centinewton. The reason we're doing this is because I'm doing mass B slow expansion and we did not do a corticotomy prior to installing my mass B. We're attempting to open my palate without that surgical intervention. Step one is slow expansion. See if I can stay under 700 centinewtons. If that doesn't work, I'll do polycyclic turning. And then if that's unsuccessful, then we'll do the corticotomy, which is the little surgical procedure to help open the palate. 